I'm Thomas Roussel, I'm from Pixelogic, he's the editor of uh, ZBrush, a full discounting software. And right now I'm at, at uh, Imagina Trade Show on the Wacom booth to do some demonstration on the new hardware from Wacom, currently the new uh, Cintiq 24HD, uh, the new pen tablet uh, from Wacom uh, based on the Intuos 4 technology, uh, which brings uh, a lot of sensitivity, a lot of space now to, to work on your your document, whatever it would be, uh, 2D software or 3D application uh, or your photography. Uh, in fact, all the software where you need to have some accuracy and all this sensibility, something that you can't find, find sorry, uh, in, with a traditional mouse. Um, then for this demonstration, uh, I will show you uh, this new hardware on the brush, of course. Um, but before starting with the software and all you're working with the pen tablet, just an overview of the pen tablet itself. Um, in opposition to the previous uh, generation of the pen tablet, uh, which was a 21 inch, um, it, this new pen tablet is then 24 inch. Uh, this is an HD resolution. And the big difference is the space. This is a very, this, this is huge. This is not a monster. This is uh, perhaps too much, but uh, the weight is the weight is 30 kilograms, which is uh, very heavy, and you can very easily move uh, the, the, the the pen tablet as a real drawing table, uh, which is very comfortable. You can push on it uh, if you have a good table, of course. Uh, you have everything around you and. Because this is a white screen, you can focus exactly uh, on your screen itself and then on your document. And in opposition to the Intuos 4 technology, where you have some LED, uh, small screen with the button, now everything is just around. And if you have some doubt about which button do what, you have three buttons on the top. The first one is, is the information button, where you can display which button do what, and also for your pen, exactly. And as all uh, the Wacom pen tablets, you can call your uh, Wacom driver where you can, with all the Intuos and Cintiq pen tablet, configure doing all your settings based on your different pens and of course different applications. Right now I, I can set up some shortcuts, hotkeys, macros, menus and also my sensibility and sensitivity uh, information settings based on my own application based on Painter 11 or ZBrush for R2 whatever then don't forget about that you can with all the pen tablet set up all your settings based on your application and your own way of working an example the sensibility of the, the pen the sensibility about the uh, orientation etc etc Last one, which is very important, you can also call the, um, the numerical and virtual keyboard, which is very important because right now I don't have my real physical keyboard. You can put it on the front, you can move your pen tablet, but sometimes you just need one or two keys or action, then just one press on the button and you can open and close it, which is very powerful and uh, very useful, <laughs> especially. Then for the pen tablet itself, this is based on the Intuos 4 technology, then you have 2048 level of sensitivity and this is, uh, it, the pen tablet detects the pressure uh, at one gram, which is very, very accurate. You can just start to click on the, on the pen, sorry, I have very small pressure, we even don't see it because this is so accurate. And you have a feeling which is very natural, which is very important. Just to conclude about the, the pen tablet itself, because this is 30 kilograms, you put it on your desk and you won't move it. You can't, in opposition to an Intuos tablet or a Cintiq 12, which is a very small one, uh, you can't, this is not very easy to bring. 30 kilograms is very important, but the, the, in a position, you can move what you want, it won't move at all. You can press on it, you can put all your weight on it, it won't move at all, which is very powerful. And then, because this is a pen tablet, you have access to all the technology from Wacom, I mean the pressure, of course, but the, uh, the angle and the, the twist, the rotation, sorry, of the pen. And after, of course, you can use whatever is your application, right now the brush, and you can start to sculpt on it. And the positive aspect about the pen tablet is that you can work in a very natural way in all the digital software. Right now in 3D, but you can just with some accuracy 
skull like this, adding your details, change your shape, turn around, and because this is accurate, you can exactly recreate what you have in mind and without focusing a lot on the details. Uh, I can, of course, change the detection of the pressure, the intensity of my strokes, but of course, with my pressure, I can have large strokes uh, with a lot of depth or very small details, very, very thin, that you will start detect them just by watching the evolution by all my small strokes. And then, in software like ZBrush, when you can sculpt uh, to the skin pores details, uh, because of all this accuracy, you can start, let's say I'm dividing my model, and uh, let's say I will pick, uh, perhaps a bit too much right now, I will move to standard brush, and uh, let's pick an alpha. This is just a pattern you apply in the model, and because of that, as you can see, there's various, very, very small details, but you can work very, very, a uh, lot of these small details and be very accurate in your models. And of course, if you have more pressure, you can have more large details. And of course, this is only possible with one a pen tablet and of course, a Wacom pen tablet. The main difference for me as a user between uh, a Cintiq, which is a pen tablet with a screen integrated like this one, and an Intuos, which is in fact the same technology but with a screen, is right now this is very natural. You are on your your paper, your your your, your drawing table, and you have all your fingers like you have in a natural way with all kind of traditional sculpting or traditional painting uh, with your pen and your paper. And for me, this is very important to uh, to be more productive which is very important for me is the productivity uh, because uh, when you are spending hours and days on your pen tablet if you can just be have a better accuracy uh, sorry productivity of 5% 10% this is huge and in two or three weeks you will just gain one day of work which is uh, priceless <laughs> okay and of course you can start with all kind of uh, of brushes and start sculpting, I will just increase a little bit my shape like this, starting drawing. You can smooth, and because you have on my pen tablet, I set up some settings. Uh, currently having the modifiers, I have the shift key, the alt key, uh, the control key. Here I set up the S key, which allow me to change the size of my brush. I can do that for all the buttons on the right side and left side. And of course, because you have the same button, if you have left hand, if you are left-handed or right-handed, you can of course work the same pen tablet, which is for me also very important. Anyway, um, and I think that's it for this overall presentation of the new uh, Cintiq 24 uh, HD. Uh, if you are spending all your days on Photoshop or Painter or ZBrush or all kind of software where you need a pen tablet or you need to have to be accurate and productive, this is a no-brainer. You don't have to think about that. I'm not speaking as Wacom, I'm speaking as Pixelogic, uh, a software where, in which you are using the pen tablet because this is my uh, daily uh, hardware to work in my, my, my job and uh, I can't live without a pen tablet and especially a Cintiq.